Welcome everyone to Minecraft number 23. So last time we did this, we were um, we were under the impression that we would have enough materials. Of course, I keep complaining about this. That happened two episodes ago. Last time, we just um, made a little bit of bone meal. And uh, we got back to the gravelly area. We're continuing resource gathering for the, uh, the greenhouse, which is, again, can't say it enough. It's a total shame. I was so excited to actually be able to build something. Um, and again, like I, I said in a, an earlier episode, uh, the greenhouse is almost like mythical to me at this point. It's like this this project that just requires endless resources that I'm never going to actually do. It's just like a, a fucking myth. So um, we're just out here. We're gathering our gravel. We're having a good time doing it. We're going to get two stacks of gravel. And I've written down exactly the materials that I need. So um, two stacks of gravel is first on the list. I don't even know if it's first on the list. But it's the first one I'm gathering. So uh, that's sorry. I, I, that was a waste to put that there. But it just bothered me having a hole. So. Uh, it's the pleasures of this game. It appeals to everyone's like most OCD tendencies. Which I think I used that term wrong. Um, but um, I'm not a mental health expert. So isn't it nice that... Um, I can pretend, I can downplay the severity of illnesses and then just uh, hand wave it away as not knowing enough. And then I get to escape all responsibility for uh, diminishing the uh, lived experiences of other people who are in worse conditions than I am. Isn't that a, a treat? That's, that's the pleasures of, uh, of YouTube, isn't it? So we're almost done. Uh, that little uh, diet five managed to buy us just enough time to get a little bit more of this gravel. I'm going to do this over here because I always do everything in a straight line because I'm weird. And there we go. So um, that's the gravel got. Uh, we need, after that, six stacks of sand. So we're going to hit that up. And um, I believe I need, of that, I need four of that to be glass. So when we get home, we're just going to immediately dump all that into the furnace and then uh, go from there. Um, we also need... Psh, psh, um, we need... What am I doing? Oh, we need dyes. That's right. I'm like, I've just totally lost my train of thought. We need dyes, but um, really the only thing I need is cactus green because I already have enough uh, blue flowers for this project. So um, we're just... Ooh, sorry. I bumped the mic. Maybe you didn't hear that, but in case you did, I'm just going to mention it. There is a squid here. So considering the prevalence of black ink in this playthrough, we are going to... Um, go ahead and snag a little bit of that stuff. Oh, you're not dead. That's a shame because I thought you were. But now you are. And you dropped three for us. So that's really nice. Um, so, yeah. The prevalence of black ink has been an ongoing war for us. So, um, we're going to go ahead and quash that where it stands. I don't really know where to kind of go in here. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I kind of just want to... Maybe I want to harvest this sand over here. You know, maybe I want to be a little bit spunky today. Maybe I want to be adventurous so yeah let's be adventurous hey how about that um all right so what i want to do is i want to do one two three four five and then when i fill up one of these here that will be um six stacks of sand which will help me count let's uh i just i just this is bothering me because it's it's you're not part of the desert you're a mountain you don't get to own part of the desert so i'm gonna remove I'm going to, like, surgically extract the desert out of you. And um, we're all going to be really happy about it. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping we will finish the sand gathering in this episode. I think we will, because you can get sand reasonably fast in this game. Um, uh, aside from that, um, there's really... Uh, I just need cactus, and I think that's pretty much it. In fact, I may just get the cactus now. Um, I need... How much do I need? I need uh, six, did I say? Uh, let's just get a reasonable comfortable amount i might even have some extra cactus at home but um, again concerning the amount of materials i've been needing for this project um, i won't be too surprised if i need more um, i don't see any more but six is what i need so i'm gonna live with that uh, let's go extract the sand out of this too Let, let's have a fun time with sand today Let, let's have sand fun times no more of this like boring ass Oh, I'm gonna like dig it out of the desert like a normal person. I wanna, I wanna take it out of these mountains because this is bothering me. So we're gonna go up right to the tippiest of the top of this mountain, and we're gonna, we're gonna execute this sand, like a, like an assassin. Yeah, this is good. This is a, this is a reasonable thing that a healthy, well-adjusted person would do. This is a good idea. Let's take the sand out. 
And I think that we'll find there's probably an alarming amount of sand in this. We might get all six stacks just from this, uh, from this mountain here. Because th there's usually a lot more sand than, than it looks, than meets the eye, you know. So what what is there to talk about um, in in the in the world today? What what what, what is what is happening? Um, the Joker movies come out. That's the thing that's happening in the world. I've not seen it. Um, I probably will. I've Batman has always been um, one of my favorite heroes. Not that I've really been that into superheroes. Roughly like comics is uh, comics and like comic book characters are probably among my least favorite media. Just in general, um, I don't know. I just find them. I don't want to say childish because, like, I can see there's an appeal there um, beyond just the children. But there's always been an element of, like, this is um, – it's just not really it's, – it's just a bunch of guys whacking each other. Like, it, I don't know. It's – I mean, I didn't mean for the o sexual overtones to be there so much. But, I mean, you know, I can't help myself, I guess. Um, but the thing I've always liked about Batman in Batman movies um, is that he's always been a more mature character. And I really have always enjoyed the Joker and how the Joker explores um, sort of aspects between, uh, you know, he, he kind of is that, that character that makes the, the boundaries between law and lawlessness really fuzzy. And, you know, Batman represents law in, like, here's law and law is good and law is a good thing and it's easy and it's just objectively the best thing ever. And then the Joker's like, well, you see, sometimes it's not so easy. And and I really love, I especially love the Arkham series. I think that's probably my favorite series that's explored the Joker. Um, Arkham City really explored him in a way that, especially with the... Um, like, the death scene and the whole, like, theater performance and, and the manipulation. Like, the way that the Joker was handled in Arkham City, I think, is probably one of my favorite um, instances. The Joker in the Arkham series in general is one of my favorites. I love Mark Hamill. But, um, yeah, but, but again, the reason I like it isn't because it's, like, uh, like uh, Batman's super cool and he, like, beats up bad guys and doesn't afraid of anything. You know, I enjoy the themes it explores. It, it, when it comes to, like, the Avengers, there might be some deeper themes there, but it, I don't see it, and it's really not the focus. Whereas, like, if you look at, like, the Nolan Batman films, like, the, the focus is on the exploration of, of pushing the boundaries of, of what Batman represents in terms of law. You know, um, what, what good does law do in the face of fear? What good does law do in the face of someone who doesn't respect it? What good does law do in the face of, of something stronger than the law? And, and you know, there's, there's a lot of interesting themes there that are explored with Batman more as a tool to deliver them more than being like the focus for me. So yeah, so I'll, I'll probably check out the Joker movie. Um, and, and it is my understanding. It's not even necessarily a Batman movie. Um, it's more using the Batman um, IP to explore the Joker's mind, which isn't as interesting to me because I find that, um, I don't know. I think that, people involved with the making of media tend to dramatically misunderstand um, motivations and things that lead to um, people becoming villains. And so I don't know if it'll be any good, but, you know, it's it, it, maybe it's worth checking out. I mean, everyone's talking, uh, everyone's saying good stuff about it. I've not really heard anything negative, so to speak. I mean, the, the common theme is everyone's, like, just pushing their political narrative onto it. And I'm not talking about, like, the, oh, if someone's gonna shoot up the theater. I'm talking, like, um, I'm also going to say because it's dangerous out here, but everyone's like there is not a review of the Joker. That's not like he talks about class consciousness or he talks about like identity politics, something like that. And this is probably just um, indicative of my filter bubble and my um, browsing history, uh, Twitter using my browsing history and, um, you know, all the websites that I use like YouTube altering the content that I see based on my history. Um, so there's probably an element of that. So, you know, I can, I probably shouldn't make a claim like that without actually going out and physically searching for Joker reviews. But, um, uh, that's just my experience on the ground, um, anecdotally, that doesn't mean anything. So, and since, uh, you know, this is just about, you know, whether or not I want to see the Joker, my anecdotal experience is the only thing that really matters. Uh, maybe I will have seen it by, uh, the time this uploads, who knows, but that's pretty much it. Um, I think I've pretty much... Uh, rung that cloth dry. I don't really know what else. Is there anything else happening happening today, folks? What else is happening? Um, we're all a bunch of, like, meat sacks that are, like, transporting chemicals around. That's something I've been thinking about lately. Is, like, 
our entire experience and our personality is like derivative of uh let's get another stack why not is derivative uh, down to like chemicals that our our brains transfer to each other like like a uh, neuro what is the the word neuro chemicals i think is it that simple i feel like that or no neurotransmitter that's it like our personality can be boiled down to like neurotransmitters and hormones and shit like if i didn't have like a mixture of like how are there like, there's like 23 neurotransmitters it's been so long since i've taken psychology um i think there's like 23 neurotransmitters and like that amalgamation is like everything that i experience like my brain cells are just long gooey stems of muck like like puking chemicals into each other and those chemicals that they puke are me i don't know and there's not really anything deeper to talk about here it's not even a deep thought necessarily it's just um i don't know that's it's, it's just weird because we we tend to humanize everything we tend to view everything as such a um, uh, we, we tend to anthropomorphize a lot even when it comes to ourselves you know we we kind of form these narratives about our own bodies and you know like being independent people and we are but it's like it, it, there there's this like um the sense of self that gets kind of snuck into the the premises in, in that in that context this uh this this sort of like there is a me that is separable from my body so to speak like there is a larger self or, or a larger ego that that drives my existence and um in a certain extent it's really not in fact um they were doing some experiments uh that they uh you know i think that it was uh, a researcher would they would put a subject in front of two buttons like a left and right button and they would hook the uh subject up to a bunch of brain apparatus uh like brain scanning uh to detect uh what is it uh brain waves i forget the name of waves um I don't know what they're called, but the brain waves. You know what I'm talking about. And um, they would would test to see when people made the decision. They would just have the person, okay, push the left button or push the right button. And then they were testing to see um, when did that decision happen. Like, what's going on in the brain when you are deciding to push a random button? And what they found was that they could tell the test subjects what button they were going to push 10 seconds before the test subjects actually knew what button they were going to push like their brains made up the decision for them a significant amount of time before they consciously made the decision and they're thinking like this is my sense of self this is me deciding to push this button i am actively choosing to push the left button but are you or is your brain deciding it for you because all you are is an amalgamation of chemicals and your uh your chemicals have already decided to push the left button and then you know, just notifying you, hey, I'm going to push this button for you is is far down the priority list. You know, it's it's fascinating and um, just kind of a, an interesting example of how we we kind of narrativize ourselves and uh, gives ourselves give ourselves maybe a, a sense of importance that is arguably unearned. Uh, but that being said, we're back here. We're going to cook some cactus after all that. Um, I don't think we have much. We have enough coal for this. I'm not too worried about it. Um, the only amount of coal we'll need is uh, 16. So we're going to burn through one coal here. We're going to burn through... Or not 16. I mean 8. Um, 8 coal. So we're going to go down to about 22 coal per furnace, which is totally fine. Um, gravel we can put in here. I don't need gravel just yet. We are going to be doing a little bit more with our stuff. I wish I could come back and harvest my farms, but because we haven't been generating these chunks, the farms aren't growing. So that's a bit of a shame, but... Um, what are you gonna do? Let's put the sand away. I did get an extra, um, an extra stack just for the meme because I was in the middle of something. And uh, let's go ahead and start cooking up the rest of our glass. All things considered, this this resource gathering hasn't been too bad. You know, we've we've knocked this out in a couple episodes, haven't we? I mean, that's that's not bad. Um, do I have any cactus here, by the way? Or did I cook it all? I'm just curious. Oh, I do have six cactus. Well, you know, I don't really care. Um, so. Uh, what would be the next step then uh we probably want to start filling in we want about a half stack more of these so we're going to start filling that in um, we also want a half stack of these concretes so let's get um our white concrete here and we need four of that and we'll take this white concrete and we will go ahead and take 16 sand and 16 gravel and we will make ourselves 
half a stack of white concrete. I did forget we need to convert this into powder. But that's something we'll explore next time. So um, I'll talk to you then. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.